you don't get the show. I loved going to CES when I went the first time, basically because it was in Vegas. I mean, you you don't really need an excuse to go to Vegas, but if you're a geek and a nerd like me, and then you go there and you're able to go to CES and see all the stuff that they have, and then you're in Vegas, I mean, that is an awesome combination. And uh, at the same time, actually, I think it was like a week later, they had the uh, porno like Oscars. <laughs> I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like I read up on this that yeah, they give out awards for pornography for all types of things. You know, best doggy style, best girl on girl, best this and that, best music. I mean, technical stuff too, best director, best mm. writer. I didn't know there was really even writer in movies anymore because <laughs> I know those old fashioned pornos actually had a storyline and I remember seeing some of them, I'm like, who the hell puts this much work into a porno? <laughs> I mean, this guy was doing Shakespeare and shit. But yeah, they, they, they actually have that. Uh, now, inside, look, when I went, this was what, like 2008? So eight years ago now? Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when I went, they didn't have, I, well, I didn't see any porno companies there. Or, or if they was, I was in the wrong department. Because, uh, but now with VR and everything, that's blowing up. Like everyone's talking about, I like how on the commercials, whenever they show the VR headset, They'll show like a family playing bowling or something. No, nah, that's not what they're using that VR headset for, man. It's for VR porn, man. That's the industry. Mm -hmm. And Naughty America, we talked about this in one of our early shows. Uh, Naughty America is uh, over there at uh, CES, but it looks like they're trying to keep that little hidden. Not like in E3 where we saw the picture of like all those people surrounding those booths, but they're trying to keep it in the back. And what's kind of funny about this story is like, when I was looking at it, they were talking about how when you went, they don't have like booth babes anymore. Cause like at the other place, they kind of had like some booth babes standing out front and they had like people working there. <laughs> so here at CES, they had a take, just a roll of cocktail tables containing VR headsets. Okay. That sounds normal, right? Mm -hmm. Washcloths and disposable headset protectors. <laughs> so I'm like, well, wait, wait. Washcloths? <laughs> I thought that was a misprint. I read it like three, four times. It actually says washcloths. Now, yes, I assume it could just be some washcloths that have Naughty America logo on it. <laughs> but doesn't that seem just a little bit on the nose to have VR <laughs> porn and like basically your nut rag sitting right next to it? <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Disposable headset protectors. So think about that. You know, it's like, I, I don't know. Are they, are they worried about some splash? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> but that combination of VR headset, washcloths, and disposable headset protectors, it just doesn't play, paint a pretty picture. So, I mean, mm. I guess it makes sense, though, because if you go to this booth, you're just sitting there and you put on these headsets. I mean, really, what is that like demoing that? Like, what do you think, Randy? Like, if you were to walk in there and you see these guys sitting at the cocktail booth and it says Naughty America, would you even want to be in that vicinity? Like, I that's, understand why they cleared that that place out. Yeah, that, that's like, it's one of those, like, weird, weird-ass, like, type of a thing where it's like, okay, like, what the hell? Like, what the hell are you getting yourself into type of a thing? Like, do you, are you going to sit there and be, like, you know, in the splash zone or, you know... <laughs> shit like that like like you said it's like holy crap you know like they like it's it's obvious like it, they've been at supposedly i've heard they've been at ces for like forever but like as uh more and more as they've like tried to make it more like hey we're not gonna like put this out there and blah 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 you know like they've sat there and they've like shoved them off into the corner <laughs> pretty much as like as much as they could and now it's gotten to the point where, like, you know, looking at this, like, article thing, like, they literally had them in a separate hall, like, with a door closed in between them. And they were kind of like, you know, hey, like, can we get the door opened and blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's it's interesting to kind of, like, see how, like, A, how CES has evolved. Like you said, you you were there eight years ago, so I'm sure it was a completely different, um, like, thing than what it is now. But it's like, you know, let's face facts. VR is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
especially now that you're moving way more into the mobile market that you can do that stuff on. Yeah. You know, so it's like they're, I mean, you got to give it to them because they're going to be like, hey, we're going to pioneer and we're going to be out there first and blah, blah, blah. Because I guarantee you, like, there's other places that are kind of doing this, but they're probably way ahead of them because they've probably been doing it for quite some time. So, I mean, it's, it's, it'll be, it, it's that weird, like, I wouldn't, I would think twice about like coming by. It's like, oh, they got washcloths here. Yeah. I wonder could, what that's could for. Could you imagine though? Like, cause I mean, this article is basically talking about how they put, at least Naughty America feels that there are extra rules for them. Like there's rules saying that they can't stand in one spot. They have to walk around. There's like different things that they can or can't show. But I'm just thinking like, if you're sitting at that booth, Mm-hmm. Imagine if you're like one of the people that, you know, Naughty America volunteers and you're walking around and someone's like at the VR and they're like, they raise their hand. I need help. <laughs> it's like, you want to be that person? Yeah. You want to be like, the, what the, was what that? Like the designated fluffer for, for the exhibit? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. That, that just sounds like. That's too funny. That, that, that price for admission to CES is a little too damn high. 